is rather than learning by rote, learning by rote works, two and two is four, four and four is eight, eight and eight is 16, which is fine, but it takes a bit of time and it isn't much fun. Whereas using a mnemonic, like I before E, except after C or something like that, as long as it's catchy, for example, um, the gunpowder plot was in uh, 1605, uh, Guy Fawkes blowing up the House of the Parliament. There was a bang at the door at five past four, for example. There's a bang at the door at five past four. Five past four is 1605. And the bang is the fireworks, of course, okay? If you're using that sort of technique, it's going to be catchy and funny and with it. I think that's a tremendous learning tool and it's not being used enough on me. I'm here to promote linking on a global scale, basically, is the bottom line. And I think it works tremendously well for spelling. And the nice thing is that people can join in. It's not all about me. And how did you come up with the idea of linking? In 1995, I was going through a map of the world. Um, my knowledge was pretty bad at the time. I was a good, uh, good at sports and good at uh, maths, and that was it. And I was looking through the States of America. I didn't realise that uh, there was a, each city, each city, each state had a capital city. And I thought Christopher Columbus, Columbus is the capital of Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. I love doing puzzles and crosswords, that's my background. I like playing with words. My father's always taught me this years ago. I thought Columbus, Ohio. I thought Christopher Columbus, always on his travels, never stops travelling. Oh, Ohio, oh, it's gone again. Oh, Ohio, oh, it's gone again. I don't want to stop travelling. Columbus, Ohio, I thought that's good fun. That's a link, that's a hook. And a good link will be in for life. A weak one will go after a day or a week or a month. That may not work for you, it works for me. If that doesn't work for you, you think of your own. And that's the idea of linking. And at 995, I thought this is a good fun. Did all the states of America, all the world capitals, kings and queens, battles and wars. And I thought, actually, this is very useful for children as well. It's not just pop quiz geeks like me. This is really good for education. And I am spelling French words and meaning of words. And spelling has really taken off. The Dyslexic Association, a huge fan of the spelling techniques that I've got here. None of them are new, but I'm using one which is not being, like letter linking, which not been used anywhere near enough. And children are spelling words that are just way beyond them. And it's instilling confidence in the child. And that to me is the message generally, that you instill confidence, you can make learning more fun. Yeah, anyone can link, all you need is an imagination to play, there's no age or ability restriction, whether you're in year one or five, six years old, whatever it's going to be. The older you are, the more expressions you know, it definitely, definitely helps, of course. But for something like the word biscuit, for example, the CU is the top part of the word biscuit, the child knows the expression cup of tea and biscuit, they know that hopefully, and if they're five or six, go and get granny a cup of tea and biscuit, the CU of cup, the CEO of Biscuit, okay? So it's all about learn linking is when a child's got lots of facts up there. It's linking the thing they need to learn to something they already know. That's the idea. Not learning a new mnemonic. If you learn a new, learn a new mnemonic, like okay, there was a bang at the door of five past four, it better be catchy. Children have got lots of facts locked away up there, thousands. Linking is using those facts. So anyone can play as long as they know some basic facts, very basic things. No restriction on age, we can all do it. Linking, obviously, it helps you spell just about any word. Yeah. Why is spelling so important? I know we're in the age of spell check and computers and stuff, and, and children are allowed to use computers in school. I think it's a good thing if they've got a spelling uh, restriction, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think computers are great for that, uh, so it's to be embraced. But the problem is spell check can help out people there. But there was a survey done a few months ago, uh, 3,000 professionals were asked, um, about spelling and 46% of them judge you for your spelling. That's nearly half. So if you go for two interviews, one of them will reject you if you're not a strong speller. One in two, which is a really high ratio, okay? So it's important to be pretty good at spelling, I think, because that person wouldn't send you to represent his company to see a client. Therefore, spelling is key. It's there and we have to confront this because there's no escaping uh, uh, spelling and it's, and it's problems and stuff. Any word can be linked, any tricks there, whatever the word is, so combination or diarrhea or desiccate or something, or a tiny word like, or small like almost, or though, or could. But it's very, very important to be a good speller because people judge you. Maybe that's unfair, but they do. This is a solution. Big statement, but it's not unfair. Now, there's thousands of links on your website. Which ones are your absolute favourites? Um, I think uh, I would do a couple here that may not work for children. That's okay. Ronald Reagan, he was shot by John Hinckley, but survived luckily, maybe it's a bit of a grim link. But John, Ronald Reagan was an old president, so I've got a little rhyme going here. Hinckley John shot Wrinkley Ron. <laughs> Hinckley John shot Wrinkley Ron. Okay, I didn't mention is John Hinckley shot Ron Wrinkley. We got to his, I'm assuming you know he's an old president, if you don't, the link's no good. It's not going to work. Okay, that's one of my personal favourites. But a friend said, 
John Hinckley shot Ron Winkley, turn it around. Hinckley John shot Winkley Ron. The other one is um, the capital of Mali, is Bamako, B-A-M-K-O, Mali. And my link here is M Ali, Muhammad Ali, Bam, a KO, Bam, a knockout. Bam, a KO. That's assuming you know that Muhammad Ali was a boxer. But that's a personal favourite of mine. M Ali, Bamako. Uh, one of my favourite spelling ones is the spelling of diarrhea. Um, shall I do it now? Go for it, Andy. Okay, right, diarrhea. Um, it's an impossible word to spell. There are three bits to it. D-I-A is the first bit. R-R-H-O, the middle bit. E-A. It's Greek for to rush through, which is great. It literally means to rush through, which makes sense. Three parts is D-I-A-R-R-H-O-E-A. D-I-A backwards is aid. You're not sure on the first bit. D-I-A is aid. A-I-D. So you're running about going, help, help, help. Oh, it's all gone wrong, okay. Aid, help me, I've got, oh, okay. Aid backwards is die, D-I-A. The last bit is ear, E-A. That sounds like ear, E-A-R. The way I do that one is, I'm trying to think of anything here, we can all do it. I woke up this morning with some diarrhea in my ear. Oh, gross. No, it didn't, it didn't happen. There's no R at the end of the ear. No R, just E-A. Not R, no ear, diarrhea, no, no. The last bit is R-R-H-O. And I made up something here called an acrostic, acrostic. Uh, okay, it's, it's running, 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 help. Oops. Running, running, help. Oops. So it's all gone wrong. Running, running, help, oops. It's silly. Hopefully silly enough to remember, and also, if you think, you look at the word help, and the last word oops, poops, is in the word as well. Ready, ready, help? Poops. It's silly, there's also a nice cartoon on the website, okay, and there would be one in the book as well, of a chap running after some new roll. Because a lot of children are visual learners. Many, many links, if you're going to use a visual learner, uh, uh, sorry, a vision, a picture, to help a link, it can enhance the link, but don't use it for trivia time. A lot of children like to learn things when they can see something. So die backwards, help, aid, Ear without the R. Runny, runny, help. Oops. That's the way to spell it. Ridiculous word. If you can spell that word, you can spell any word. It's one of my favourites.